Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on identity permutation of group theory in discrete mathematics course. In the previous video, we are already discussed about equivalence of permutations with one example problem. If anybody wants, please refer that video in my YouTube channel. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about what is identity permutation and what is the example for identity permutation that can be discussed in this video. Okay, first of all, what is identity permutation? Let capital S be a finite set that contains n number of elements. F is called as identity permutation if and only if f of x is equal to x for all x belongs to s. We can take any element x in s. The image of x is equal to the same element x. Then f is called as identity permutation called as identity permutation so that means diagrammatically i am representing this one so this is yes and this is also yes i am taking one element in x x is mapped with the same element x through the function f. So, f is a function mapping from s to s. I am taking any element x in s. The image of x is only x. So, then f is called as identity permutation. Okay. Now, we can go for the example. Let S is equal to set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, F is a function mapping from S to S. So, that means I am taking set S here, set S here. Okay, now what are the elements are there in S? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, F is mapping from S to S. That means through the function F, 1 is mapped to 1. That means 1 image is 1, 2 image is 2, 3 image is 3, 4 image is 4, 5 image is 5. So, F can be defined as, I am taking the elements of set S in the first row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. One image is one. So one image is one. Two image is two. Two image is two. Three image is three. Three image is three. Four image is four. Five image is five. Okay. So we can take any element in set S. The image of that element is same element. That means one image is one. Two image is two. Three image is three. Four image is four. Five image is five. That means, so f of x is equal to x for all x belongs to s. Okay, I am taking x value is 1. So, f of 1 is equal to 1. That means 1 image is 1. Okay, I am taking x value is 2. 
f of 2 is equal to 2. That means 2 image is 2. I am taking x value is 3. 3 belongs to yes. f of 3 is equal to 3. 3 image is 3. I am taking x value as 4. f of 4 is equal to 4. 4 image is 4. Next, I am taking x value as 5. f of 5 is equal to 5. 5 image is 5. So, whenever this condition is satisfied, then f is called as identity permutation. Identity permutation. Okay. So, in this way, we have to prove that the given permutation F on S is called as identity permutation whenever it satisfies this condition. We are taking any element X in S. Image of X is equal to the same element. That means F of X is equal to X. Whenever the given function f satisfies this condition on yes, then f is called as identity permutation. Okay, so this is the definition, this is the example. Okay, thank you, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please give me your suggestions and comments if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so the bella srinivasarao thank you